So I recently got this email from a subscriber and I wanna address three particular things in this video. I want, there's three topics that I wanna hit on and I'll tell you what they are. The first one is that I wanna give you my specific thoughts. When I get an email like this, when I read it, how, how my mind works as I'm reading it, not just from the text there, but like kind of reading into, um, you know, hearing it from all of you guys, right? Again, love your support. And I'm trying with every video and every person I talk to in this space that watches my videos to try to get a better bead on like what the general average WordPress user is is like, what their struggles are, what their hardships are, like all sorts of stuff, right? Like where they're at as far as beginner, intermediate, and advanced. I want to know that because it's going to help me help you guys, right? So that's the first thing I'm going to give you all my thoughts on that because I have some strong thoughts. The second thing is I want to actually provide an answer to the main thesis of this email, this question, because it is very, very difficult. And I personally hate writing like long uh, technical words back, like an email format or whatever, um, because it's just difficult. Like there's, there's many different routes you can choose. I would just rather have a chat or make a video about it or whatever, because it's just easier, in my opinion, to actually digest and diagnose the issue and possibly come up with a solution. The third thing I want to do is give you an actual actionable thing that you can do if you have a similar situation like this. Again, I'll always, you know, you know, happily take the emails and stuff like that, but I am busy. I'm running the agency. I'm doing the, I'm doing the content. Um, I will give you more of a, of a idea on that. Like the content is to, uh, you know, help you guys as much as possible. But obviously there are times when like a video that I make does not ed perfectly adhere to the situation you have, and maybe you're still stuck, um, I have an option for you, okay? So let's talk about all this. All right, so the first thing is I'm just gonna read through this email. I'm gonna give you kind of my, my high-level thoughts on this. Um, and again, none of this is picking specifically on the person here. Their identity is, is hidden anyway, uh, but none of it is specifically, I get this stuff all the time, okay? So it's not you know, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not, it's not individual. This is using this just as a, as a blanket example. So hi, I'm Jess. I was going through your YouTube videos on creating a client portal. It's confusing because you didn't show this process step by step. I also saw the one you created using Crocoblox and Jet Engine. I can't afford to buy all that right now. I just need guidance for building from scratch with Elementor. My challenge is that I created seven pages, introduction, billing, meetings, feedback, etc. using Elementor. These seven pages are supposed to serve as templates. So every client I create will have each project showing all seven pages to each client. Then another part that groups all the projects under the particular client. How do I set this up? Probably ACF and CPT. Okay, so I'm gonna, and that's the email. Again, I want you to maybe pause the video and give your thoughts depending on you know how you're, how you're looking at that. But I'm gonna go back through it and I'm kind of just gonna give you how I think about this, because I think it's really, it will be really helpful regardless of where you're at on your journey to understand like just, you know, kind of how, how to think about some of these things, okay? So I'm going through YouTube videos on creating Client Portal. If you go to wpclientportal.co, you'll see the, um, you know, the portal series that we have. I also have two other videos that I'm not sure if this, uh, this person watched, but there were before when I built with Elementor, uh, kind of just like overview videos, which could be very helpful if you kind of know like how to do things, but you need help on ideas or implementation. Um, I'll leave those links in the description of this video, but like they're they're helpful. They're just general overviews. Uh, I think it's how people kind of first come across this client portal thing because they seem to get a, a solid amount of views and then maybe they see the other stuff. To set the expectation here though, is that I built the old one with Elementor. Now this new series is using Bricks. So it is a different system. I mean. A lot of the things overlap, not the actual UI or the way that you do certain things, but the concepts are very similar. I mean, they're both page builders. At the end of the day, they they do it differently, but they are accomplishing the same thing. So that's something to consider. Um, it's confusing because you didn't show the process step by step. I'm not going to lie. It wasn't perfect, but I am building. What you're seeing in those videos is me building it in order that I'm building it in. So I am jumping around a little bit, but you could definitely do it in that order. It's neither here nor there, but... My point is like wpclientportal.co, that, those are the, the, that's what we're talking about in this specific thing. Okay. So then um, I also saw one that you created using, um, the one you created using Crocoblox and Jet Engine. Okay, so there's a couple, again, there's a couple different ones going on here. I can't afford to buy all that right now. This is a big point of contention for me. Um, I'm never gonna stop having these strong opinions just because my worldview is different and I understand everybody's situation is different. Everybody's in a different part of the world. Everybody uh, has a different set of parameters that they're doing. But at the end of the day, if you are going to make money with whatever you're doing, it's a client portal. So you're either building this for somebody or you're building it for yourself. Somehow you're gonna be making money from this, okay? If you if you are doing anything for yourself, you're probably gonna be making money. I understand that maybe you're just trying to like, at first just you know keep costs low and all that sort of stuff. But I'm telling you, 
I've said this before and I'm never gonna stop saying it. If you are adverse to, to investing in your business to make money for your, to yourself, right? If you don't wanna up your tools and up your, your game, then, then I, I don't know what to tell you because how are you gonna pitch that idea to somebody else? The reason that somebody's buying a website or something from you is because they're investing in your business. It's very, I don't understand why sometimes we get confused on this. If you are selling a website to somebody, that is your main pitch for them. You can't not, and that's double negative, but you can't not do the same for yourself. So again, I'm not, again, I'm not saying that, I don't know the financial situation specifically here or in a lot of cases, but you need to have that mindset, like long-term. You absolutely need to. I buy shit all the time that I know is not, like it's making me, it's not ridiculous purchases. They're, they're, these tools aren't even that expensive, like on the grand scheme of things. Like, so, yeah, and again, that's relative, but just think about that, okay? Like I really, I, I'm, I'm, I know it's difficult to hear that, but I'm just telling you because I, I know that that's what you need to do. You need to charge more, but you also need to invest so you, so you provide a better service and a better product. So that's, you know, kind of the, the main thing that I want to talk about there, um, as far as that goes, because I get that constantly all the time. And one more thing I'm going to throw in here, and this is super, maybe not controversial, but definitely, uh, definitely will spin, spin the mind a little bit here, because I'm the guy that just made this client, these client portal videos. If you, if you don't want to invest or you can't afford to invest in your, in, in like, you know, Jet Engine as an example here, maybe don't create a client portal right now. It's a different approach, but I'm saying like, you don't need a client portal. Like there's a lot of people that don't have the client portal. They just need a way to, to build their people. And you could just, if you're just starting out, again, I don't know the specific situation here, but if you're just starting out, just send them a, like a freaking Stripe or even like tell them to Venmo you or something. You know what I mean? Like I love being professional and buttoned up and have the client portal, but I didn't have a client portal when I started like very the very first time. Like, so it's, I'm just I'm just trying to give you options too, like give you different ways of thinking about it. Like, don't make a client portal just because Mark has a client portal or somebody has a client portal. Like, that's that's not that's not a good practice. So if you can't afford that, maybe just do five projects with no client portal, and then buy the shit that you need to make a good client portal, and then make the client portal. Because I'll tell you this, okay? And then we'll move on here. I'll tell you this. I am actually pretty pissed off at myself that I made the client portal in Elementor, and now I'm in Bricks remaking it. Oh, great, I'm, I'm happy that I'm showing you guys content and everything like that, but my point is like, I made the client portal when I didn't know a lot of things, so now I've had to refactor a lot of stuff. You're gonna have to rebuild it. You know, just 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 do it as much as you can, or just don't do it at all for right now, and just get your, get your funds up, and then buy the stuff that, you know, and, or invest in some other solution. You don't even have to make it custom. I'm just giving you options. I'm just trying to give you a different thing, because I'm reading all these different things, and I, and I just, I get a lot of different stuff and I have a lot of different thoughts. So, okay, let's keep going. I just need guidance for building from scratch with Elementor. Now, here's where I'm gonna get into the point where still reading into still reading into this and everything like that, but this is I get this stuff all the time. It's like I just need help need guidance building from scratch with Elementor. I'm not saying we're 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 assuming anything there, but to me, the way that I read that, I think the way most people would read that is like I just need guidance from building from scratch with Elementor. Here's the thing. You don't know what you don't know, and I'm not saying you do or don't know necessarily, but that is not, first of all, it's not an easy thing. There's a little bit of, um, a little bit of, uh, of, of, a, of a sprinkle of that in there that makes it sound easy. It's, first of all, it's definitely not easy. It's definitely not easy to just build something simply with, with Elementor or even Elementor Pro, which I'm not sure if we have here or not, but it's, but it's from scratch with Elementor, like, Elementor doesn't give you all the shit. Like the reason that I bought Jet Engine was because I had limitations with Elementor. And again, that was a while back now, but but still like I, I know that there's limitations there. So my point is when we try to use things, when we try to use one tool to do everything, that's not how the tool's designed to work. It's not how like it's developed so far. It's not the, the, the feature set of the tool. And I'm not even talking about anything specific, but I know for a fact that if you try to build what I'm building right now with just Elementor, it's not gonna work. Cause like, how are you going to do it? We haven't even talked about e-commerce or anything like that, but that's just the way that I that I read into that. So it's kind of like a a missed it's like a it's like a misasked question in a way, in my opinion, or like a it's a faulty premise. It's like how are we going to just build this with Elementor? Is is kind of the way that I that I read into that. Okay, let's keep going. So my challenge is that I created seven pages introduction. Da 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 da. Uh, these pages are supposed to service templates. Okay, I mean. I, I, I do kind of get that. I don't I don't know if it's exactly gonna work like that because I I'm, this is super 
you know, this is super like just vague, high level structure and everything, but okay. And then, so every client will have their page showing seven projects to client and, and another part, uh, groups of projects all together. And then how do I set this up? ACF or CPT? So yeah, definitely need CPT, definitely need ACF. I'm going to blend this last bit in here with the actual, how I would do it, but I'm going to, I'm going to wrap the first topic up with the fact that this is, I know this is just a quick, simple email, but if this is how we're actually thinking about these problems, way too fucking simple, okay? Like, we're not thinking about this enough whatsoever. Like, this is not, if I was thinking about how to create a portal, not how I would do it at all. Like, there, there's not enough detail here and here whatsoever. And again, I'm, I'm not picking on this person. If you're watching, look, I, I understand. But I'm saying, like, this is not how a pro like digital strategist or digital web developer would think about this because there's way more fucking variables than this. Okay. And I, and again, if you don't understand, if, if like, if you just haven't had the reps for that, totally get it. No, I'm not picking on you. I'm just saying that that is what the case is. So understand that long term. Now to, to, um, to address that, what I would do is I would like literally be writing this out, like kind of like everything I did, go watch part one, I'll put those in the video, go watch part one and two, I think, or maybe even more one, two and three, of the actual series. Think about how much shit, just watch that, watch it on 2x speed, and think about how much stuff I thought about and expressed in those videos before I even built the portal. And I already built one, <laughs> and now I was I was explaining all that stuff again. So that is what that is the level of detail you need for a project like this, because there are too many goddamn variables and dynamic data and all this other stuff. So again, I know it's a simple email, but okay. So I get passionate about this. Okay, so the last thing here is like, if I'm trying to think, you know, super high level on how to do this with just Elementor, I mean, you're gonna have Elementor, you're gonna have templates, you're gonna have custom post types for, I'm not even sure, I guess meetings, feedback, you're gonna have to integrate that with users. Again, this is just not a simple project. I can barely even explain it in like, you know, in, in a couple minutes, uh, even on a video, let alone in text. Um, but yeah, you're definitely gonna need CPT, you're definitely gonna need ACF, you can use whatever you want for those. If you wanna use ACF free, you know, give it a shot, but I think you're gonna be limited by certain things at some point. Um, I don't have a great answer for you. I, the, only, the only real answer I have for you, and you're gonna think this is a sales pitch, but it's, it's genuinely not, because you don't need to do this, is I'm gonna wrap this up with this, with this concept here. I, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be extremely candid with you about this. I build websites for the agency, for my agency. Like I build websites for clients. I have amassed a lot of knowledge. I wanna share that with you guys for free on YouTube here, okay? So I'm putting these videos out. What that has turned into, happily, I'm happy for this, is, is emails like this, which I'm, I'm, I'm in all the comments, and I love the support. I love every single one of you guys. Thank you so much. It's, it's gotten a lot of that. So people see the stuff that I put out, just and not just me, every other creator, and then we get asked, you know, hey, can you do this? Can you do that? Whatever, can you help me with this? I'm putting out a bunch of free content that you can watch, get ideas, and then personally adapt to fit your situation. If for some reason, the videos that you watch and you try to adhere, you know, adapt to your situation, if that's not enough, I have another situation for you. I have another a thought and another offer for you. And that offer is for you to go to mjs.bio, which is just, uh, you can, that'll just drop you this page, or you can go to markjosephsmancy.com for right now, but, but mjs.bio will we'll drop you at this page, okay? And then if you click this button right here that says need guidance on web dev, you can book a consulting call with me, okay? And then from that, you can get 15, 30, or 60 minutes of time with me, and we can talk specifically about your project. I'll even prepare if you give me some information beforehand, and then I will talk specifically to you about what it is that you need. So again, if we go back to this, like, I'll, I'll tell you exactly how I would do this. You can ask me questions. I'll give you consulting on that. I've done it with other people. Rave reviews, okay? And I'm not trying to blow smoke there. I'm just saying like, it, it it is a different type of thing, okay? I understand watching videos is not always perfect. I try to do my best and give you as much detail, but sometimes people don't like the detail. But if you need help with a specific issue that you think I can help you with, I'm more than happy to do that. But that's how we have to do it. And again, if you send me an email, what what, I'm gonna to try to you know give you some some quick insights and stuff like that. But again, I just made a 15 minute video about this email and all my thoughts, and we didn't even really get much anywhere. I was trying to do some different things, but we didn't get to where we needed to because this isn't a simple question. So again, I love it. I love the support. I love you guys. Thank you so much for everything that uh, you know all the all the views, all the comments, and everything like that. I greatly appreciate it. I want to continue this, but I wanted to make this video because I've never seen anybody else really address this in this way. And I think that it's really important because I'm trying to 
always understand where the general average WordPress user is and the new agency owner and the new the new website designer. And I really wanna help every single one of you continue to grow and adapt and evolve in your mindset and the way you do the business and you handle your business and build. And these are great examples of that. So thank you so much for this email. Again, I'm gonna respond in the email and also post this and everything like that. But um, that's just my thoughts on this. So I hope this was helpful. I hope it got, it got you thinking a little differently. Uh, if you like it, click the like button. If you didn't like it, click this like button. And please leave a comment telling me what you think as far as like if you if you agree with some of the stuff I said, if you didn't agree, I'm more than happy to have that conversation. Okay, so links in the description for everything I talked about. Thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it as always. I will talk to you in the next one.